Hey guys, it's Crystal here with Art It Out, and today we're going to talk to every one of you out there that has thought about doing mixed media, have thought about doing art journaling, has fallen in love with seeing everybody's art in their journals, and how cool, look at these pieces, they're tags, they're this, they're that. So cool, right? And it's so very much in anymore um, that... I want to help you get over the hump and get in and actually start doing your own. Okay? Because you don't want to be like everybody else. You want to be yourself, right? Everybody's art is individual just like people are. Now, I'm coming at you guys because when I first started, um, what held me back was seeing these really cool pieces and I'm like, oh, I can't draw like that. I, there's no way I can do that. There's no way I can do this, this, this. Well, here's the thing. 90% of the stuff that you're seeing is from a stamped image. So, yes, they did color it in. Yes, they made it cooler. But they used a stamped image as the base. Okay? Those cool layers you see, stencils, collage. These are things that are tools in the arsenal of your mixed media art journaling. There's so many different ways. But if you break it down to the steps, I guarantee you're going to feel like you can do this. Um, and it doesn't matter what it looks like. I can't say that enough. It's about doing it's about doing an art play then actually seeing what the, the end of the outcome is going to be. So... You know, I don't know if this is going to touch base with anybody, but I know for me, it was it was really hard for me to get over that. But once I realized, oh, well, that face was a stamp. Okay, I can do that. I could buy the stamp and use it the exact same way. Or I could buy it and use it totally different. And images. They use a lot of collage images from magazines, print off from computers. The list goes on. So... Not everything they use in their art journals, they made themselves. And that's okay. It's called mixed media. Mix up the media from watercolor to acrylic paint to magazine paper to um, cardstock. You know, that's the fun of mixed media. So I'm going to share some of my things and explain a little bit more about it. This is actually, I cut, it was called Journaling by Fives. Shannon Green's a guru of it, and you take, I can't remember off the top of my head how you do it, you, you've got to go through really quickly, and you have like five minutes to put paint on all the pages, you have five minutes to put stamps or this on it, so it's a time thing, so it breaks you out of thinking about it too much and just doing, so this is really my first time really getting into it. And I look back on these. This is my very first one. I look at and I'm happy with it that I can see, like, oh, I can add this or this. But that's not the point of this. This is what I started with. Paint. You need some type of paint down or collage paper. There's doodling. This is bubble wrap and paints. Um, scrap papers. These are from magazines. Okay. So none of these, in my opinion... Or anything that's worthy of hanging on a wall. But I had fun with them. I learned a lot of steps. And get and made myself feel comfortable with stuff. And this type is, you know, this is art journaling. You could write, you know, what you're feeling. Um, I don't do a lot of words, in, you know, writing out my emotion stuff. I do it through the paint nowadays. But... I'm showing you this because this was my really my first, you know, peek into this type of journaling. And I enjoyed it so much it made me keep going. So I just wanted to share that a little bit. You know, it's not something that, whoa, holy mackerel, you know, I'll pay money for. But it was fun and it broke me into it. So you have that's art. I'm showing you different ones because I want to show you also you don't have to buy the expensive journals to art journal. That one was a... One I, notebook that I got at school time, so it was really cheap. This is one I made myself. Um, like here. This one I think is really, uh, really good. 
um, for myself, and I look at it, it looks pretty professional. And this image, you know, if you didn't know any better, would think I did it myself. No, it's a color from a coloring book that I cut out and colored. Okay. Stamps, stencil, stamps. Um, so, and like, see, now this isn't all, I, but I used images from a magazine. Magazine, I love this. It's dark and spooky magazine uh, pieces. Um, some of these you can tell right off the bat. Like, oh, well, you know, she didn't. She did that. That's a giant magazine picture. But I did this and decked it out. I loved it. It's beautiful. Magazine. Magazine. The rest is me. Very pretty page. I'm not going to go through all my stuff. I'm coming out. Here's one that you can use pieces for a magazine and make your own pieces with it. This face, you might think, oh, there's no way you could do it. This is actually a stencil. I only used part of it and then did, made the rest of it my own. It's all on how you use your tools, guys. And if you're brand new, you don't have a lot of stamps and things or stencils, that's okay. Use more of the collage images. You also don't have to use a big journal. You can use a small journal. It's all on you. Um, and this, you can use stickers. I use a lot of stickers in this one. Be positive to you, die happy. I mean, come on now. That's fantastic. <laughs> so don't be afraid to use what you got. Because I guarantee all those artists you see out there that make these fantastic, oh my god, I could never get that good piece started out like this. Or they use it in their art, you just don't realize it. So, you can use big little, like here's a um, magazine, you know, you don't have the money, you can use a magazine. It's okay to just play, to get past that. This is actually, I did not draw, she's a stamp that I stamped, cut out. These are from a punch. Die cuts are big. You can, the, the, um, that you punch out you know, anything and everything nowadays. So, really, it's all on the matter of these are uh, images, free magazine. And you can get magazines free, you just gotta know where you're going. So, yes, don't let other people's work intimidate you. Because a lot of the time, this is a the stamps, this is a stamp, this is a tissue paper, washi tape, uh, tissue paper, tissue paper, bot words. So a lot of that is actually bought or, you know, been given to me. But that's a cool page. And really all I did was put it a certain way and put some paint on it. Truth be told, guys. Now, some of you are going to probably... I might piss off a few of you saying what I'm saying. I am not no way putting down anybody's um, arting abilities... Um, or anything like that. Everybody's different. Everybody does differently. But if some of my pieces, I can look and say, well, really, all I did was this, this, and this. That was it. So it wasn't much, but it turned out really cool, and it made me happy, which is what the point. Make yourself happy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's not what you do to your page or your art piece. It's what inside you get out of it. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share those few things. This is, um, I made this journal. These are stamped images that I stamped off and colored in with, hmm, scribble sticks and such. Stan stenciling is behind it. All that is stenciling. Very pretty. I think this is one of my better ones recently, anyways. I like that. Those are stamped images that I cut, um, cut and colored. So, you don't have to be uh, Picasso to do this, guys. Get you some paint. Get you some... A notebook. Grab one of your kids. I know you got a stockpile of them that you keep, you know, for when they need them or you need them. Get one out and play with it. Quit looking at everybody else's saying, I want to be, I want to be, I want to do, I want to do, and do you. Have fun, because that's what it's about, guys. I hope this maybe helped out a few of you understand that what you're seeing isn't always what you, how it takes to get there. Um, 
and try it because you never know. You could be the next Picasso. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you enjoy this, always hit me on my Art It Out Facebook group, Instagram, I share dailies, and of course here on YouTube. Happiness to you. Go make a mess. And of course, Art It Out. Bye.